CES was last month, and I'm noticing this trend where a lot of the concept vehicles have these entertainment screens facing the rear seats. But as you know, not many of those make it into production, the exception being that BMW has a large screen for the rear seat passengers, even though it definitely comes at a price. Tesla is adding some entertainment capability to its front screen. Horrendous. Last year, I implemented a dual screen entertainment setup in the back seat of my F-150 Lightning, and I wanted to share that with you to show you just how easy it is to make this concept turn into a reality. Now, obviously, your mileage may vary depending on what vehicle you're driving, but I do feel that this Lightning is uniquely equipped to make this setup very easy. Now, it did take a few different iterations of this to get all the wrinkles out of my current setup. What I settled on was these two 15-inch portable monitors mounted to the back of the front seats using the ProClip USA tablet headrest mounts. I spent about $180 on each monitor, and I will link them in the description below. However, if you're willing to compromise on the resolution or refresh rate of your monitors, this might be a good spot to cut costs. Next, you're gonna run power and HDMI from each monitor to under the front passenger seat, where it can meet up with our master power strip and the HDMI splitter. To keep things organized, I routed both wires through some braided cable sleeve. The brains of my operation is a PS5 that's hiding under the rear seats. So you'll need to run power and HDMI cables back to your PS5. I just hid these under my floor mats to keep them out of sight. You'll notice I'm talking a lot about focusing on organization and keeping your cables out of the way. And here's why I think that's important. The better this setup looks in your vehicle, the more compelled you'll be to just leave it there. That way you can get use out of it every day rather than having to tear it down and then reinstall before road trips. You'd be surprised how often I find myself arriving somewhere 30 minutes early and I can just kill that time on the PS5 in the backseat of the truck. And because these monitors aren't tied into any lackluster operating system from the manufacturer, I have the freedom to just unplug my PS5 and use these screens as secondary monitors for my laptop. Additionally, depending on your vehicle and your situation, you can adjust this setup to fit your needs. You could implement this in your car with only one monitor or a different gaming console. For example, one of my first implementations of this was a Nintendo Switch hiding in my center console hooked up to just one monitor. And I had a ton of fun on this setup as well. If you're interested in a more in-depth video about my Nintendo Switch installation, just comment below and I'll start working on that video. Let's see what reaction we get out of a couple beta testers. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> this is right, well, great. Get to it. <laughs> <laughs> this is incredible. All right, who do you want to play as? Right. Ooh, look at that pass! Oh, I chipped it. That's I not a shot. Switch. Circle is shot, I think. Ooh, I just got juked. Oh yeah, up here. Oh, 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 oh! Uh, oh, good thing I'm riding the wrong way. Got to your goalie! Let's go. We need him or we're screwed. Oh, I <laughs> shredded up. Oh, I chipped it again instead of shooting it. <laughs> what was that? I don't know, I hit circle. <laughs> This is so dope. <laughs> this is wild. Joe, we gotta go on a road trip. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'll <do> Yeah, <laughs> We'll be back here. <laughs> Get back on me! Just <laughs> <laughs> oh! <laughs> you no. no. Oh, yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> there okay. was. Right. This is wild. <laughs> This was so cool. <laughs> this is one of the coolest things I've experienced in a long time. So as you can imagine, this setup is downright ridiculous. You've got all the perks of localized PS5 gameplay. You're not game streaming, you're not worried about lagginess or dropped frames, plus the added benefit of a Blu-ray player for movies that'll eat up hours of your road trip. So thanks for watching. Comment below if you think you're gonna try to do this in your vehicle. Please subscribe or share this with somebody if you got any value out of it. So thanks again. I'll catch you on the next one, guys.